It's funny how your mind works in a crisis. When I got to the hospital, the doctor had to say to me beforehand, your bone has ripped its way through muscle and tendons and skin. It's a limb, threatening break. I pretty much accepted that, like, my dream was, was lived and done, and now you're broke. And I remember waking up, coming to, and going, where am I? Oh, I'm in hot. Oh, right, I, I failed. I've broke my leg. Is it still there? Knowing the risks and then weighing up the odds, is it worth it? When it came to that round, I was the last one to go, it meant that I had the highest scores. So I thought, right, I'll uh, finish with a bang, I'll do something I've never done before. And I seen one other guy through like a double cork, and I thought, I'll go for one of those. I didn't really practice double corks, but I thought, well, how hard can it be? Let's go for it. You know, take off, out, land on the mat. What was that snap? Looked at my foot and it was just swinging. It wasn't until about 30 seconds to a minute later when the pain kicked in. It was like... <laughs> Two nurses grabbed me, pinned me down like this. And the doctor just <laughs> realigned my foot. Oh my God, it was the most painful thing ever. My approach to risk has changed. There's a balance that I've got to find in myself. One part of me says, Ryan, this is what you do, this is what you love. If you want to do it, do it. And the other part of me says, break your ankle. You can't do this job and then you don't get paid. My hobby became my career. I'm a professional free runner. The risks are now, do I need to do this unnecessarily? I thought my career was over. Came back and I'm just living proof that the human body is an amazing machine.